Hey guys, this is Dave from Evo Fitness in Cape Town. Just bringing you my weekly training log from uh, last week's training, 10th of March. It's my first week back into heavy volume work after about six, seven weeks with a uh, hamstring injury and an adductor injury. Uh, I've been, been building back into it a little bit. Uh, I reintroduced the deadlift and the squats again last couple of weeks, but nothing too heavy. Starting off today with some deficit deadlifts, had to go for, uh, let me see, I think it was one set of eight with 166 kilos, if I remember rightly, with a double overhand grip, no straps or belt. Fair, this felt pretty easy. Uh, the only thing that was giving me a bit of a uh, hardship was the grip, because it's the first time I've picked up this weight for uh, quite a while. Uh, legs felt good, the deficit wasn't too much handle, there's only, I think, an inch and a half deficit. Looking at the the reps, pretty happy with them, other than my not keeping my chin packed. I like to try and keep that tight, but as you can see there, hyperextension. I already have a few issues in the uh, cervical area of my, my neck, so next time I have to watch out for that. Block pulls. Went for a mixed grip on this. Didn't feel too bad at all. Mid-chin level. Full lockout. Switch the grips on the second set. Again, my neck's coming up a little bit, but you know, first time back, um, I'll take it for this session. Weight came up fairly quickly for me. I was I was pretty pleased with that. After this, I had some safety squats. I'd been sitting down all morning, and I could feel it in my uh, in my hips. Went for three sets. I'm only showing the one set. You don't need to see all of them. This was probably the better of the three sets. Yeah, I can see my tightness in my hips there. Pelvis is bouncing around a little bit too much for my liking. Uh, again, I can't really complain too much. So much time out, like I said, six weeks out and sitting down all morning. But it's something I know I've definitely got to work on over the next, next few weeks again. If I'm going to get back anywhere near to my max and beyond my max even. Nice pause at the end. It's pretty easy. After that, more volume work with some pull downs, back extensions and prowler work. Pretty tough day at the office for my first day back. Tuesday, my worst day is bench press day, or in this case, floor press. I suck at bench press completely. Uh, my max is about 140. Uh, with a pause for comp, and I'm going to do all I can to to break that this year. I should really be benching, you know, as a raw lifter, natural lifter. I suppose 180 to 200. These felt pretty good today. It's the first time I've done floor press in a while as well. I was getting a little bit of a catch in my right elbow. And when I turn the angle round, which you'll see in a minute, uh, or hopefully we'll see in a minute, you can see that my right elbow is tucking a little bit tighter than my left, which potentially is what's causing that issue. Keeping my legs straight so I can eliminate the leg drive. Making it all about upper body here. Keeping nice and tight. Uh. I actually did feel strong on this today. Normally I even have to have a, an unrack for this, but today I managed it all on my own. See, big boy now. Yeah, pretty unflattering angle now. So sorry about that, but here we go. Just watch this right elbow. Maybe not as bad on this one, but marginally tighter. Coming in. After this, I had to hit a uh, couple of volume sets. First set I hit, second set I missed the last rep. Again, my, my weakest lift, so I wasn't too too unhappy with this. And it's probably the steadiest my bench has felt in a long while today. Feet set up nice and as tight as I can get beneath me. In competition, I'll probably be wearing ollie shoes, but I like to try and stay after them as much as possible outside of comp time just to allow my uh, my Achilles heel which I'm 
working on to give me more uh, flexibility in my ankles to get that loosened up and stretched down a bit more. Hence the, the barefoot shoes that I've got on here. Uh, Jared getting ready for me when I uh, crash out on the next set. Yeah, yeah. This one I think I only hit 14 here. I've counted it once or twice, but you know, as personal trainers, we can't count past eight pretty well. Yeah. This actually felt really smooth when doing it. I was really happy with this bench today, despite missing the last rep and all. It's a shame Jared's wearing his that t-shirt today. He's got another one with reps for Jesus on it. Create a bit of a stir here and there. So, uh, yeah, getting towards the end now. See, I just lack that drive. This is where the floor press will kick in and help me out as well. After that, hit a load of dumbbell rows, press downs, farmers walks, and some military press as well. Wednesday, just a an eccentricless recovery day. Did a load of mobility work and stretching to start, followed off by some uh, prowler rows. I think I've just got 60 kilos on there. I did several sets of this. So I, I get the, the blood flow and the pump, but I don't get the uh, the tearing with the, the normally centric action. So it helps with my recovery a lot, gets me a good workout, and allows me to have my carbs of an evening as well. After this, I did some pull throughs with the prowler as well. Then further from there also hit some shoulder rehab and some band work for shoulder blades and face pulls that kind of thing the, uh, the general prehab and rehab stuff that keeps your shoulders healthy especially with the amount of pressing needed in some of these high volume programs yeah. I generally only take about an hour of this training on my recovery day Thursday was my first day back into squatting eight sets of three this is my first session really going over to a low bar in any kind of work capacity way um, been a high bar squatter for eight years now feel much more comfortable there but uh, a few ankle issues and wanting to do better at powerlifting I need to change over to a low bar squat despite these feeling awful they don't look too bad the bar is traveling up and down in a straight line popping the hips back using the posterior chain plenty of easy depth um, my elbows are a little too high I need to get them tucked under a bit tighter again this is all still part of me uh, getting used to the low bar squat doesn't feel particularly comfortable but again uh, the more I practice the better it should get if it doesn't then hell I'll swap back to back to high bar and, and do what I can with that yeah. Pretty good speed considering there's only 45 seconds rest in between and it's my first day back into it. <laughs> yeah. And happily each squat pretty much looks like the same as the last squat which means I've got a nice uh, movement pattern going on there here we go, final set this is a speed day as well by the way so quite a lot of volume, lightweight many sets, low rest break after this I worked up to a heavy double with the uh, reverse bands it's probably about 30 kilos of tension oh, here we go band balanced out perfectly, you need to do this before you set up, make sure the bands have got equal tension. I was supposed to work up to a double at 145, uh, but my legs were feeling good and I wanted to, to see where I was up to. Also with the deload at the bottom I was able, was able to speed up through the, the process and accelerate up the top. Yeah. Here we go. Double at 180 no belt 
Yeah, second round was a bit tough, but I was happy with that in uh, the grand scheme of things. Some more squats, front squats, reverse hypes and kettlebell swings after. And Friday, it was a bugger day. Anyway, I'm off. Catch you later.